yeah, this movie is just it's a great classic. To talk about. Yeah. It is a classic. Yeah. Right. Um, so you want to recast it? <laughs> <laughs> so good. We about to remake it. All right. We are recasting this movie for 2023, Matt. Who is your Craig? Vince Staples. Vince Staples. That's the rapper, right? Okay, rapper turned actor. He's 30 years old. Get a couple pictures in here. All right. That's your that's your Craig. Any because well, because I know of him as a rapper. I know he did a little acting, but he has a show on Netflix called The Vince Staples Show. And this is hilarious. But it's not hilarious in like a joking comedy way. It's hilarious like how um how Atlanta is funny. Like Atlanta, there's no like comedy comedy, but stuff happens that's funny. And yeah. it so that's why I think Vince Staples would be good in this. All right. So <clears throat> My Craig is this young man, a young man that you will be familiar with. Everyone will be familiar with. Caleb McLaughlin. He's 22 now. Um, mm -hmm. He's most famous from Stranger Things. He was in um, Book of Clarence doing his thing. And I, I this is my new Craig. Okay. Um, he's so my thing is like I was really trying to find like who's young, who are these young actors, young black actors of today, and I was I really thought about it. And I'm like I, I feel like he can handle it because it's like, well I've never seen him do straight up comedy. Craig really isn't a super comedic character, mm -hmm. and so like I feel like he could handle that. Okay. So how about your Smokey? Of course, it's. The most obvious choice if you're thinking about this, DC Young Fly. Okay, that wasn't um the most obvious choice in my mind. In my mind, yeah. I thought for for a minute I really he's 31. Okay. For uh, a minute I really thought about uh Lakeith's Lakeith Stanfield. Mm -hmm. So I was like Because no. everything you said about Chris Tucker being animated in physical comedy, that's all DC Young Fly. Okay. He he's he's a music guy. Or... No, he he's comedy. He does comedy. He's he was on Wild and Out. He's been in a couple of different movies and stuff like that. But he also can sing though. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, like I I remember like they cast him in the new um what do you call it House Party, but mm -hmm. uh I mean I never seen that and I don't think I've seen anything with him in it. Yeah, if you catch it, like he has a eighty five South show, uh with him and um some other guys and they do comedy. They're on tour and stuff. But if you want to see his comedy, comedy, he's he's been on Wild and Out for years. Okay. So my Smokey, I was like, I really need a comedian here. So I went with Josh Johnson. Nope, that is not the right one. This one. Um, kind of got like a. He's kind of funny. He's got like a more chill, laid back comedic flow, and he. Pops I'm not up, familiar with him. He pops up on my Instagram every now and again. And so I was like, we need a young black comedian, like, because that's, that was the, that's what, that's why you get a Chris Tucker in 95, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody that, cause Craig's not, Craig's not the comedian, you know, Craig is the quote unquote straight man. So you need mm -hmm. somebody that's going to be, you know, to take it to that next level. Right. All right. Um, who is Pops? William Stanford Davis. You will know him as Mr. Johnson from Abbott Elementary. Oh, how old is he? 72. Okay. Oh, you from St. Louis? He is. That's what it says. Right, right there. Oh, how about that? All right, sir. I see you, sir. <laughs> This is your pops, and I know. Yes, we know that his his character's name is not Pops, but you know, um, John Witherspoon will always be Pops from yes. um, <laughs> Wayne's Brothers. <laughs> okay, um, why did you pick him? Because I was just thinking right now, off the top of my head, if I was thinking of an older gentleman that's funny and and quick with it, the first thing is I thought of him off Abbott Elementary. Okay. So my pops, you know, I like my legacy characters, right? You know that I like doing this, Matt. 
you know that every time we recast something, I always sprinkle in some some somebody from the original movie. Yes, that's why I'm surprised you didn't do for uh um do Ice Cube's uh, son for no, Craig. No, no, because that's that that's that's outside of the scope. Oh, <laughs> so I'm choosing Phase on Love as the dad. You know, we we're gonna you know. We're we're bringing him from the um the ice cream truck to like the kitchen, the pooper. Gotcha. Uh, okay. And I was also you know just trying to be mindful of, like ages and stuff, and so like he's mm-hmm. fifty five at this point. So phase on and also you know phase on love is really fucking funny. So it's like he could ha- he could in his sleep he <laughs> he could handle this this pops role. Right. All right. What about the mom? Um, Octavia Spencer. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, you you're trying to uh add some um uh, some gravitas. She's still fifty three. Huh. Mm-hmm. Trying to add some gravitas to the role. I see you. Cause some like sophisticatedness, but with with comedy mixed in, I think she would eat this up. This would be light work for her. No, it is like yeah. I mean, she's a very accomplished actress. She, you're right. She could once more, like Face on Love, she could do that role in her sleep. And I'm not, I'm not discounting her or the role, but it's just like that's 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 gonna be easy for her. So I'm still doing my legacy characters, Matt. You know who I'm who I'm picking as the mom. Now I do. Go ahead. Who who who? Nia Long. Regina King. Oh, Regina King. She she going from the <laughs> she, sister to the mom. The daughter to the mother now. <laughs> yes. Also, like uh I'm I'm just gonna throw this out there. Let's let's have her direct it. <laughs> I want her to <laughs> I want her to direct all of the things. But yeah, I'm picking Regina King as the mom. Like I it was between honestly, it was between her and Regina Hall because we all know how funny Regina Hall is. Right. But right. The role isn't asking for the mom to be that funny. And Regina right, Hall as I said, is fucking yeah. hilarious. Yeah, yeah. So, no, it's just like, I like my legacy characters. I like bringing people back into, you know, people that were in originals, but in different roles. And, like, I feel like she can hand, obviously. So, the whole thing with this is, like, I've... I'm speaking for Chad, I've been struggling casting the younger people, but like older people, like Regina King can like once more do this in her sleep. Like she is that good of an actress. Like she can handle the material. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's why I picked her as the mom. Okay. And let's see. Debbie. Debbie is Neil Long. Who is our new Neil Long? Coco Jones. <laughs> Uh, let's see, she's 26. Okay, so she was from, um, we, I mean, she's done some Disney stuff, but she's also in the Bel Air reboot. Yes, and just like how I was talking about how beautiful Nia Long's face is at, look how beautiful this woman is. Yes, and she can sing. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So, I, so, um, I went with like who's young and hot right now. And so mm-hmm. I went with Haley Bailey. I thought of her. I thought of her. And so I was like, okay, she's young. And I was I was, I was like, who could be like a young Nia Long, you know? Mm-hmm. And I could see that in her. Like, I yeah. mean, to be honest, like a lot of the times when I'm looking at like these younger people, like a Haley Bailey and like she's like 23. I see. I just see a kid when I look at her face <laughs> because, like, right. I'm getting to that point. <laughs> but uh, I'm like, yeah, she could do this. Like, but well, I'm sure somebody my, our age when they saw Friday looking at Nia Long like that child, you know? Right. <laughs> All right. Who is your Debo? Now, for me, this was the hardest one to figure out. I was looking for somebody who's menacing. Uh, but if comedy was involved, they could do it. And my Debo is Marshawn Lynch, the NFL player. Yeah, he recently was in. Did you ever get a chance to see Bottoms? 
No. It's really I saw funny. the trailer for it. Yeah. Uh yeah, I can I can see that. He's really funny. Yeah. And he he's menacing enough to he can pull out a Debo. Okay, I'm with you. I can see that. So like I agree, Debo was really hard. And so my thing is like, who's like just a big muscular dude? And so I went with Travante Rhodes. Um right now he is in that um that Tyler Perry movie on Netflix, Mia Copa. Oh, but, he's a I started watching that. He's the artist. Yeah, but also he was in um Moonlight. Okay. And I was just like, who's I'm not sure if he, I'm not sure if he's a. I mean, Debo's not a co comedic character, so like I, he, you know, he could do menacing and stuff. You know, he's a big muscular guy, so I, I could see him in that role. Uh, who was your like your second choice? I'm just curious. No, no, I mean it's it's just. <laughs> oh, because my second choice was uh, was it Winston Duke? Oh, I forgot about Winston Duke. He was gonna be my second choice for Debo. Yeah, that's a really good choice. Um, what was the what was the last thing? What's the last thing he was in? It's like I wasn't even thinking about him. That's a really good choice. He's tall, look, right? Oh, so now he 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 a big at, dude. Look, look at him making um uh, Anthony <laughs> Mackie looks tiny. <laughs> look at look look at this. Look at this. I I want to say Jordan Pill is my height. Let me see. Uh, five seven. Yeah, Jordan Pill is my height. So this <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> uh who is your big worm? Drewski. Ooh, you gotta help me. D R U S K I. D R U S K I. Uh, <laughs> oh, this guy. Oh, I, I didn't know his name. I, I see him pop up and stuff. He is funny. Yeah. He is funny. So I believe like he will 100% kill this role of Big Worm. Like, no yeah. doubt. Yeah. So like I was really like hitting my head against a wall on my Big Worm. And so um, I I did some race bending. <laughs> And so I picked Jason, it's Jason, Jacob ba ba Batalon, you know, uh, Ned, Ned from Spider Man. Right. I mean, I, I'm not putting a white person in this movie, but, you know, I just feel like, you know, he, he can be a bigger guy. He has been a bigger guy. And I, I, you know, also, like, we could also low key play into like Asians kind of like um, taking over the neighborhood, but they don't mm -hmm. actually live in the neighborhood. Like, we could play with that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I see you. Easy. Um, uh, Ha Ha Davis. Ha Ha Davis. Mm -hmm. I don't think I know this man. See, a lot of my people are internet people, like social media comedians, and things like that. To where I figure, like. They got a lot of young comedians at the time, and now for our day, a lot of these young comedians are on social media and things like that. No, I get that. I get that. I mean, I would have liked to put mine together like this as well, but it's like I don't, I don't know a lot of these people. Like I'll, I'll see your reels, but I'm not investigating to see who you are. You know, right? <laughs> okay, so my Ezel is a comedian also, though, but he's a little bit more known. I am picking Jared Carmichael. Hmm. Surprising choice. Now, at one point, he was my Smokey, but like he's I can he's, see, but I can see, I can see more of that. Yeah, yeah. But like he's like he's too old in my opinion. Like he's thirty six, thirty seven, something like that. He's our age, so it's mm -hmm. like I don't, I don't want to do that because like the. I know that Ice Cube wasn't 22 when he did the movie, but he's supposed to be 22. So we want younger, you know? Right, right. So this is my Ezel. Like, I feel like he obviously can handle the comedy of it, of of what Ezel needs. Mm -hmm. That's, that was kind of my, my thought process. Okay. 
All right, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. This was kind of tricky to find, too, but I ended up with Leslie Jones. Interesting. So Leslie Jones is Coco Jones's big sister. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. You knew no Leslie Jones like is in her fifties, right? Really? Yeah, she's fifty six. Oh. Oh well, no, I didn't. I did not know that. Like that's <laughs> she could have played the mom. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, no, you know, I mean, no, we're, crack, we're, we're crack, crack, it. crack heads be. Uh, I mean, I'm not crack heads. Uh, Dr those drugs take your soul. Yes. Yes. All right, I feel you. I feel you. Um. So I was. It was. It was between two actresses for my Felicia, right? Um, and initially I had Zendaya, but I'm like, she basically played the same thing on Euphoria. Okay. So I went with Zoe Kravitz. Cause like I'm thinking like, you know, young and light skinned. And like my Haley is kind of like lighter in tone too. Mm -hmm. So let me see. Let me see if there is a picture of them together. Um, no, 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 but you, you, you kind of get an idea of like what I'm trying to do there. Right. Right. But yeah, that's, yeah, that, that's, that's, I don't know if she can do comedy, but uh, that, that's, that's my Felicia. Uh, so red is the guy who, um, Debo beat up and I, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I know you. I think we might have the same person. All right. Then you go first then. So my red is Tyler James Williams. No. No? Oh, no. okay. <laughs> I know he could be. I mean, yeah. I mean, he kind of, and also I, I cast him because he looks a little bit like the guy, the original guy, DJ Pooh. Mm-hmm. So that oh. that's kind of, that was kind of like where my head was at. All right, I uh, went back to Ele Abbott Elementary and Zach Fox. That's the boyfriend, right? Yeah, Tyreek on the show. <laughs> okay, I think he played played Red perfectly. I yeah. can see that. I can see that. Well, we we were both thinking in the same arena, right? Same Abbott Elementary. Yes. Okay, so who is your Mrs. Parker? All right. So now, when I was thinking about this, I was like, who's an older woman that is fine as hell? Mm -hmm. And my the first name that came to my mind is the person I selected. Now, Holly Berry. That's funny. That is funny. That's a good, that's a good choice. I'm like, small little role, but iconic role. And I think it'll be, especially seeing her in this, like something like this, I think it'll be perfect. Surprising, but perfect. Yeah. And I, yeah, that something like where you don't tell people she's in it. And it's right. just like a surprise cameo. I can see that. So I was thinking about like who I wanted to have fun with my casting, right? Because I'm like, mm -hmm. who is a black actress that could have been in the original but wasn't because she was mm -hmm. around so like i initially thought about uh rachel true you know the black girl from um the craft i'll uh, pull her up i don't know what you're talking about so oh black... okay okay she so was, was on um, uh half bait and yeah and half and half and stuff like that so i originally thought about her and i was like nah Cause I kept, I, cause I was scrolling through her Instagram with like recent pictures and stuff, mm -hmm. and then I saw she posted like a, a, hey, remember when I was on Half and Half? And then I was like, S and Atkins. So she mm -hmm. is my Mrs. Parker. Cause I, I wanted a woman, a black woman in her fifties, not her sixties, in her fifties. I'm not, not. I mean, Holly Berry's in her fifties, but I'm just saying, like, I want, I wanted to keep it locked in that, and you know, in that. Mm -hmm. So she is my Mrs. Parker. Like, okay, definitely could do it, and she's still fine as fuck. Right. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of you know our recasting of this. Um, 
And if you guys have any ideas um who you think should be in a recasting, shoot us in the comments and let us know. Yeah. So let us know if you agree or disagree. So if you want to know our thoughts on like the movie, um, the full episode comes out Friday. But you know, this you know, we like to, you know, post these a little early and stuff. But they also make the main episodes really fucking long. But yeah, you know, do the YouTube things, like and subscribe. We like I said, leave that comment. Leave those comments. Please leave those comments. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>